Hey guys, um, I'm going to be showing you how to do the glossy word effect and the reflection kind of like you see right here on my wallpaper. Here it goes. This can be done on Photoshop, but I will be doing it on Photoshop Elements because I didn't have enough money for Photoshop. Um, start from scratch. I'm going to do 1280 by 720 with the resolution 300. That's just what I usually use. Now you're going to want to make a new layer. And this layer is basically the spotlight. It doesn't really make sense. When I learned how to do this, it didn't make much sense, but it'll make sense when I do it. Uh, first, you want to get the shape tool and make sure it's a black shape and make sure it fills up the entire screen. If you use Photoshop, make it a rasterized layer, otherwise simplify the layer. And then from there you want to get the elliptical marquee tool and try to make a circle as big as you can. It kind of fills up the entire screen except for the corners. You don't really want those corners. Now it shrinks because of the 250 pixels of feather. That's how much you want. And then you just click or press delete and deselect. Now you're going to want to lower the opacity. Let's see, right about here looks good. Now you're going to want to grab that and make a new layer. This is going to be your text layer. Now just click the page somewhere. That is too big. So I'll lower it down to 36. Type out something. I'll just do uh, grass. It's not big enough for me, so I'll just make it bigger. Bigger. Okay. Take it. I'm gonna just move it right. Okay. Now I want to take the magic wand tool and uncheck con contiguous whatever I know I pronounced it wrong don't get on my back about it uncheck it and click one of your letters and it should take all of them now what you want to do you want to go to your gradient tool I got some presets I'll give you the link in the video in the details um, since it's grass I'll go with green let's see which, I'll just do this one Right, so before you move on from here, this is like the easy way that you can do it. Yes, I want to simplify the layer. Make sure you simplify it first. Now basically do the gradient. And you could be done if you want. But that hasn't put the reflection on. And I know some of you don't have the preset. So I'll just... Uh, I'll take the paint bucket tool and I'll paint it black. 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 Since I put the gradient on, it only paints one color at a time. So. Okay. I think we got it. Except for that one little part, but don't worry about it. Um, you want to duplicate the layer. You want to duplicate the layer twice. But you know what? Let's delete these. And just make it green. So go back to your magic wand tool. 
green it. Paint, 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 paint. I got it. Ah, no, I didn't. Okay. Get that. Uh, deselect it. This one? No, oh, whatever. Okay. Um, now you want to duplicate it. Sorry, guys. Messed up. We all mess up once in a while. Okay. Now what you want to do, you want to drag the top layer down. And then move it below the first grass. Go up to Image or Transform for Photoshop. Move it, flip it 180 degrees, and then you want to flip it horizontally. And then you want to move it up just exactly like that. Okay. And now you want to make your secondary color. Uh, never mind about secondary color. You want to use your magic wand tool, get the letters, then you want to take a gradient tool, and you want to get the green to keyed out. Okay, now you just want to delete the letters. And now you come in with your gradient tool, and that looks pretty good but now you want to change your opacity so then you have a nice little reflection now for this you're going to want to make the top copy select it select it then make it a different color probably a lighter one if you can Now, get your paint bucket tool, paint it, paint it, paint it, paint it, paint it, deselect. Now you're going to want to go back to your elliptical, elliptical marquee tool and make sure that there's no feather on it. Now you um, take the elliptical marquee tool, kind of like this. You could also use the other one, the rectangular one, but either way it still works. When you get it like this, make sure you show a little bit at the top, and you'll see why in a second, and you just delete. And it looks like you have a glossy word with a reflection. So, thank you for watching, I'm sorry for all the mess ups. Goodbye.